All right, everybody here? Good. So today we're just gonna make a quick little video to answer a question I keep getting asked repeatedly. So a while back I made a video showing you guys how to bolt an old school GM transmission, turbo 350, 400, power glide, etc. Uh, how to bolt that up to an LS engine. And here lately, I don't know why, but just over the last maybe two months, I have had a flood of questions on that video and it's all from people who apparently don't understand how you're supposed to measure the uh, bolt pattern or bolt circle on a torque converter. So I'm just gonna make this video real quick, show you guys how to measure the bolt pattern on a torque converter and uh, kind of explain to you real quick why you measure it this way. Now, the first thing to understand is you do not measure the bolt pattern on a torque converter the same way you measure the bolt pattern on say a wheel. So when you measure the bolt pattern on a wheel, what you're doing is you're measuring across from the two furthest bolt holes so, you know, you would go from like this bolt hole to this hole or this hole and that's your bolt pattern. Like if I measure across here, I mean, I can't lay the ruler in there. I'd have to get my tape measure from here to there. The center of that hole to the center of that hole is 4.75 inches, you know, same to this hole. So same from this hole to this hole, you guys get the picture. Now, the problem I'm having is people keep messaging me and telling me that their torque converter has like a nine inch bolt pattern or a 10 inch bolt pattern. Guys, uh, GM has never produced a torque converter with a nine inch bolt pattern or a 10 inch bolt pattern. So the only way they could possibly be getting that measurement is if they measured it like I just showed you how you measure a wheel. The problem with that is with a torque converter bolt pattern, it's actually called a bolt circle because you're not measuring the pattern, you're measuring basically the diameter of, of the bolt circle. So to show you what I mean, we've got the old torque converter out of the China vet here. So we're gonna flip this guy over, probably get trans fluid all over my workbench. Here's the problem. If you try to measure it like you do a lug pattern on a car and go center to center on here, you're gonna come up with, well, I guess I could put it on camera. You're gonna come up with about nine and a quarter inches which obviously is not correct because as i just said gm never made a torque converter with a bolt pattern that small so what you got to do guys real simple you want to measure from the center of the torque converter out to the center of any bolt hole okay all right so we're going to go from the center of our torque converter to the center of the bolt hole and we've got about five and three eighths. So five and three eighths. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply that by two. So five and three eighths times two is 10.75. It's a uh, 10 and three quarters, guys. If you wanna make it easier on yourself, you don't like messing with fractions, you can just use a, a caliper to measure this. That way you're dealing with decimals instead of fractions. But that's how you do it, guys. Real quick, I'm gonna explain to you why. Uh, if you don't care why, you just wanted to know how, then, you know, there's your answer. You can go ahead and tune out now. For those of you like myself who like to understand the why and not just the how, uh, it's real simple, guys. So we got our bolt holes, right? Here, and here, and here. Here's the center of our torque converter. Now, what we're measuring is the bolt circle. So this is like some shit you learned in like fourth or fifth grade, I think. I don't know, maybe sooner than that. But if you got a circle and you want to know the diameter of the circle, you got two ways you can figure that out, right? First, you can just measure from one point of the circle straight through the center to the other point of the circle. Well, obviously you can't do that if you've got three bolts because measuring from any two bolts uh, is not going to pass through the center. So it's going to give you a short reading, right? Right. Okay. So what's the other way we measure the uh, the diameter of a circle? Well, we measure the radius. And the radius is from any outside point to the dead center. So that's our radius. From here to here, our radius was 5 inches and 3 eighths. Okay? And then when you multiply that by 2, 
that's going to give you your circumference or your bolt circle which is 10.75 or 10 and 3 quarter all right it's that simple guys that's how you do it that's how you measure the pattern on a torque converter so please please stop messaging me and telling me that you've got a torque converter with a nine and a half inch bolt pattern or a 10 inch bolt pattern no you don't you just need to measure your stuff right hope that helps some of you guys out and that's all i got for you guys so check out some of the other videos ls swap tips and tricks or check out some of the uh, project car videos then get out in the garage get something done and i'll see you next time here on bad luck garage